Uh, got a video from Common Ground Conversations. Dope channel, man. Um, he's going around asking people about how they feel about Andrew Tate, love or hate. And I definitely want to tap into this shit because I already know it's going to be a whole bunch of sheep out here just regurgitating information that media has lied to them about, man. Like, I'm, I'm at the point, man, if anybody out here is 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 saying that you know Andrew Tate is the worst thing ever he's like public enemy number one he's a misogynistic blah 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 y'all are just sheep y'all just eat whatever the media feeds you you don't dive in and actually figure out what the fuck is going on because if you actually did that then you would know what reality is and not just focused on the bullshit that the media is feeding you man so I, I already know it's gonna be a bunch of that man so um this this video like an hour long but fortunately he has this shit separated in the conversations man so i don't know which one is the best one but the first conversation he's having is a group of girls so i definitely want to see what this group of girls is going to say i'd imagine they're just going to be fucking pissed at the little tiktoks of andrew tate that are out there that are taken entirely out of context you know what i mean like i could imagine not i can imagine someone can definitely go through some of my videos take little snippets of me here and there and just come up with a whole nother motherfucker that look like me saying some different shit that I never said because it's, it's called taking shit out of context. Um, uh, but yeah, man, let's get into it. Andrew Tate, okay. love or hate? Hate. Okay, because I, 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 I love him. Like one word. <laughs> hate. 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 So interesting, okay. Mm, so, mm. one side of demographic. Tell me why, and open question for all of you, feel free to defer to Alex if you so please. <laughs> but, why do you hate Andrew Tate? Um, well, I've never met him, so I can't say I hate him as a person. But I don't like what he preaches, most of it. But it's hard to what come up with... What is it that you don't like, in particular, if we were to be specific? Mm. Women are property. Yeah, and women I think are even some of the good things, he just doesn't go about... I don't think he goes about things in a very good way. I think he's quite aggressive, and he doesn't really hear out other sides of like the story and even like, like i'm saying hey but i'm happy to hear someone who thinks love like yeah. that's fine mm. but i feel like hey if you're like you're actually wrong he's just gonna scream at you <laughs> like i don't yeah. think he's yeah. willing to learn and learn other people's thoughts on what yeah. he's saying and even like spreading that kind of message to especially like some of our younger brothers are like oh Andrew yeah. Tate. it's like especially because they're so young but if you hear him say women are property we're a bit older we can kind of unpack that yeah. get where he's coming from if you're 12 and you're hearing women are property you're not going to think oh but he might be being protective. You're going to think, okay, that means I own them. Mm -hmm. Like, younger kids who are on these social media platforms can't, like, yeah, they're impressionable and they can't think into things as deep as we can and understand them for, like, the two sides of the story like older kids can. Mm. And I think, just to to be fair to, to Andrew, I don't think he's ever... So, essentially saying what he, what he preaches is taken out of context. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, I mean, granted, I don't know how much hate they have for Andrew Tate. Um, there's not a there's not a good gauge on that man, but um, but I'm gonna keep it moving. Like I mean, I could I could see that the tick, but that's not on tape. That's the TikToks snipping his shit up for public consumption by everyone. So if a kid sees this and it's taken entirely the fucking context, then yeah. But that's not on Andrew Tate. That's on social media trying to fucking demonize Andrew Tate and have him represent this bullshit that he's that he's not advocating for you know what i'm saying like that's that's not at all what andrew tate preaches like what andrew tate preaches is bruh i'm up here <laughs> motherfucker i'm up here I'm, I'm a king out this bitch I've, I've i've earned my spot to have what the fuck i want if you're not if you're not willing to upset my conditions of being in a relationship with me then you know go go about your day but if you decide to accompany me you know what I'm saying? You belong to me, right? And I, but and then like he's talking from the fucking King Tut perspective, right? Which he can. You know what I'm saying? Like the all the motherfuckers, the Drakes, the presidents, the dictators, whatever. Like they write their own ticket. That's that's just how it goes. And like it's on the women to sign up for it. And if if she don't want to, then all right, man. But like taking taking a layer back and applying that ideology to. The, the the majority of the world, I guarantee fucking to you, even with as feminist as the world is right now, if women were actually going to be honest with themselves 
and they found themselves in a situation or a relationship with a man that they respected, that they looked up to, that they trusted. You, I guarantee fucking to you that they would have no problem being his, his property, and vice versa. The man is her property in in the normal world. You know what I'm saying? Like I belong to my fucking woman as she belongs to me. You know what I mean? It ain't like no no indentured servitude where she gonna do whatever the fuck I say, however the fuck I say is my way to highway type shit. But typically within monogamous relationships, you belong to each other. But bitches want to take this shit entirely out of fucking context and think that this motherfucker is, you know, King Tut out here having his women as slaves when the women that Andrew Tate is with have no problem doing whatever the fuck it is Andrew Tate wants. You know what I mean? Um, even though I just took it to the minority, but even with the majority, y'all women would have no problem belonging to a man that y'all want to belong to. He said women are men's property. What he has said is that if he was in a relationship with a woman and she had an OnlyFans, he would view part of her income as belonging to him. If a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's his. That this is part, you saying that women are your property. It's not about being property. It's about the fact that she belongs to him and the intimate parts of her body belong to him because they're in a relationship. And if she wants to sell those, he has a stake in so, those intimate parts so, of her body. I have so, no so, issue with what the fuck he just said. None at all. <laughs> None at all. Bro, I remember this conversation. It's like, what is what is a what is a what does a couple do given that situation? If a man was proposed with this situation where his women is wanting to do OnlyFans, you know what I mean, trying to get incentivized by putting his pussy out there for the world to see. That is his pussy. That is his woman, right? All right, you want to do that? I'm gonna need some of them fucking proceeds because, like, I'm not about to just put your shit out. I mean. And then he said, all right, if you don't like this arrangement, then come up with something else. But this is the best I can give you to make me feel better about the situation because we are in a relationship. And if you put your shit out there, then I didn't sign up for that. You're supposed to be exclusive to me. So I'm going to need some. I'm, I'm going to need to be paid off you giving my shit to everybody else. Right. But they take it entirely out of context. Like I said, it's reverse. A uh, male porn star owes the woman. I don't know because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman's yeah, given that's open inherently man. where you get called sexist. Yeah. Right, so, it, which is you know, I'm not saying that that's all that much better, but it is different. Yeah. Um, I think the other thing is obviously, as I said, we don't know him, and we also haven't like we don't watch all of his videos, we don't follow his exactly. content. Exactly. So what we opinion. see is whatever gets reposted to yeah. us, and as being women, we follow mainly women. Yeah. And it's most always the negatives. It's always the negatives. Show the negatives. Yeah. So like when I had a conversation, I love that you're aware of that. To one of yeah. my guy friends, he was like, "I love his money and his business side." I'm like, "Well, I haven't heard that because I've only heard mm, the things so he said about women, yeah. which don't personally sit right with me. Mm. But that doesn't mean he said things that." We can't say we don't agree with everything we said because we haven't heard everything yeah, we said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think what I, I wish I knew where they women stand. I, I don't want to put words in their mouth. I'm speaking for like the majority of the feedback that I get from women on Andrew Tate, man. And like even 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 with what I just said, like they have this narrative in their mind of how they perceive Andrew Tate to be. And if you have this much like negative feeling toward him or this animosity or whatever the fuck and you know you don't have the entire story then why then why would you feel so strongly about something that you know you don't know 100 percent about you know what i'm saying like you're you, you you should know you're getting played <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you motherfuckers know how social media is too like motherfuckers know that the tech world is feeding them bullshit and even with that they just sit there and and digest it all you know what I'm saying? Like she just said, that was no horse's mouth. I know I'm not getting everything, but I'm still pissed about the shit that I'm getting. Well, and she knows, she's aware that if she knew everything, that she may not feel the way that she needs to feel, which like totally discredits a woman's position or stance on thinking that Andrew Tate is like the shittiest person on earth. You know what I mean? Because they're aware. Like I'm only getting 10% of the story. Where all of us can find, like I don't think any of us would say women are men's property. Right? I feel like that's quite an archaic. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good starting point. Hey, we'd have some trouble if that wasn't the case. Um, and I also shared a concern around impressionable young lads. We met some today who I was like, okay, if you like Andrew, are there, is there anything that he said that you don't agree with? And they were like, no. Yeah. So I share your concern around impressionable young lads 
getting snippets that are out of context and then swallowing them wholesale because they might admire his kind of masculine alpha top G uh, yeah. persona. And, like, the ones that go viral, if he's like, oh, invest in like crypto, you'll make money. That's yeah. not going viral. What's going viral is him saying, if I had a woman, she's not going out with me, giving her permission. Like, yeah. But they feeding you that though. They're feeding you that. They're doing that on purpose to demonize this man. And I wish he would say that shit. I wish he would say that shit, man. And then the flip side, bro, like they getting up. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put words in. I don't know how upset they are. I don't know how I don't know how terrible they think Andrew Tate is. They may not think he's as terrible as, you know, the world makes Andrew Tate seems and the people that fucking hate him. But even even given given their perspective, like to have that stance on him. I mean, I would like to see what they say about the Cardi B's and the Meg the Stallions and the Lizzo's and all these, all this other toxic ass feminist shit that, to me, fucks women up way worse than uh, Andrew Tate could. Hey, the things that are going viral and millions and millions of people are saying are the really controversial, what I would characterize as wrong yeah. things. Is so. there is there anything else that he said that? any of you would take issue with or say, I definitely yeah. don't agree with Not that. Not that I could directly uh, call like the slapping. Slap, slap. Like, you know, yeah. oh, bitch, sit down, slap, slap. That was a slap. joke. Grab, choke, <laughs> shut up. It was up. a joke. Like saying, I just don't think like, like that's... a woman can't yeah. go out, but like, if he cheated, and he still like loves the girl yeah. that he's with, it's not considered cheating. A man can only cheat if he loves someone else. If I have a woman who I truly love, and I go out and fuck, and I come back to her, and I don't care about her, and I only love my girl, that's not cheating. That's exercise. If she even talks to a dude, it's cheating. Because females are emotionally invested. I think if a man is, is not sexually exclusive, it's not the same as if a woman is. Because with a woman, you have the paternity issue. With a man, you don't have a paternity issue. If I have three girlfriends and, and they all get pregnant, we know who the mother and who the father is. If you have one woman and three men, you don't know who even the parents are if she got pregnant. Also, how with but he's talking from King Tut's perspective. People leave that part out. Can't speak for all men. Even and even with that, even and, and like in the day, majority of men don't fucking cheat because the majority of men are not in a position to fucking cheat. But even with that, you know what I'm saying. Even though women try to push this, 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 this dilemma, but when 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 infidelity arises, it's a lot easier for men to cut off emotion and just use a woman as a whole. And not be emotionally attached to it at all. Like that, that, that dilemma exists where oftentimes if women step out, they are lacking something emotionally. There are women that fall within that corridor where they just they they fuck like men, but that's the minority of women. You know what I mean? The majority of women, they step out on a man. If there's there's definitely something wrong because they're going for emotional uh connection, not just to get fucked, typically, right? So that dilemma exists. But, and then on top of the fact that, you know, Andrew Tate is talking from a man's perspective where, you know, he's King Tut, so he can do what he wants. You know what I mean? Right, wrong, or indifferent, like, when you have status like that, <laughs> you literally can do what you want, but these women tend to forget about that. Like, them, the average man can't move that way, and that is, that is, uh, uh, that is something I have issue with, because there's a lot of fucking platforms out here who spread that same information and leave that part out saying, look, we're talking about the top one, the top 10% of men out here who can move this way. But then when you, when you, when you deliver that information to all men, every man out here is going to be thinking, yeah, I can shoot on my women and shit. So I, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But there's a part missing from that. You on that? I'm with you on the that The young, long. how he only wants young girls because I haven't had much yeah. shit. The reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through yeah. 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 Okay, so I want to I want to touch on both of them. So one, uh, sorry, what was the point that you made? I just... Like if he cheats on. Like, oh his... yes, yeah. yeah. So the idea that if we were in a relationship and I sleep with other women, sorry. that's fine, yeah. but you can't. I, I, I'm. If he again, if if my sister were to bring him home for dinner, and he said that, I'd be like, get the out yeah, of my yeah. house all right so I, I don't now what i again i want to be fair to take he did say that the reason why he thought that was because men and women show loyalty in different ways yeah and i can kind of see his point there in the sense that there if in a relationship where there are asymmetric uh roles or obligations or responsibilities or whatnot maybe you could make a case for it but still don't agree with it yeah. um 
with regard to what you said, now this is, I think, an uncomfortable truth, but it's unattractive for a girl to be promiscuous. And I think it's more unattractive to a male than it is vice versa. What I can say is that a large majority of males find it unattractive to, to be intimate with a woman who has multiple sexual partners. And part of the reason why that is, it's, it's hardwired into us, is because of parental uncertainty. So if I'm having sex with a woman on a regular basis, and then she falls pregnant, but she's also had multiple sexual partners, I don't know whether it's mine. And so I've developed this instinct uh, you need to, take to be slightly unattracted to women who are more promiscuous compared to ones who are not. While we're on this point, it's also worth briefly noting that only a high value male, sexually speaking, as compared to a low value male, can sleep with multiple women, whereas the same does not apply for females. That is to say, a low value woman can still but sleep anyway. with multiple men in spite of being a low value woman. And this is because males are far less selective with their mates compared to females. And again, this isn't just a social construct. We can tie this back to biological reasons, namely the asymmetrical parental investment in being pregnant and giving birth. The reason why this is all relevant is it can be a social signal of high value when a man has multiple women who'd like to sleep with him, whereas this is not Status. as much the case for females. Onwards with the show. Basically, men need to work for sex. Women do not. If a woman's out here giving sex away to everybody, she's literally giving that shit away for free. There's no work involved. So what type of person are you dealing with? And vice versa, if a man's getting a bunch of bodies, there's something special about this man. I understand why we have to be, if we're young, we're automatically assuming yeah. that we haven't been as touched, you yeah. say. Like, he's like, I want to be with younger people because I'm... Right. Like, the chances are. And I wonder, I wonder whether Probability. there's more nuance. Something that I'm, I'm, I know he's aware of is he needs to be more nuanced with exactly what he's saying yeah. so it doesn't get taken yeah. out of context. The way he's wording things definitely, because to me saying, I want to sleep with younger girls because I've had less dick, that comes across very yeah. more focused on the younger girls yeah. than it does on how many people they've slept with. Yeah. Well, that's all you the fucking receive it that way like he said what he said if your first reaction is to digest it that way that's on you he just said they're young and they've had less dick that's but that's what he said and i just want young world young girls i like young girls i want young girls because chances are they're going to be a lot less untouched than the older women less dicks less baggage less delusion less entitlement chances are run into them it's going to be easily to get them on your program as opposed to folk with the older women who's who's already doing her own thing it's, it's hard to teach your old dog new tricks and men typically a man of status want a woman to get on his program not vice versa i feel like it would be just be wording himself especially because he does have that audience and people are going to hear young and girls are the two main words i hear in that sentence yeah that it's very coming off that he wants to sleep with younger girls, not necessarily why. He yeah, says and it also though. That it can he, be, says, he says why every time. Every time. What he's saying can be taken out of context and then it can mislead young yeah, lads, yeah, right? Yeah. So one other thing that I want to point out is that men, have you have you ever looked at a, uh, like a graph of when women are at their most attractive and when men are at their most attractive? Is it when they're viewed as the most attractive or...? By the opposite sex. Yeah, yeah. and it was like women at like 23 or wasn't it? Or yeah, 21? yeah, it's somewhere around yeah. that range. Whereas for men, whereas for men, for, for men it's much older. Women yeah. tend to find slightly older men more attractive. And so I guess what I'm trying to do is take what he said and ask myself, is there a kernel of truth in that that could be better articulated? Mm -hmm. I think one one thing that he perhaps... So basically this is... is, is uh, Andrew Tate saying what he's saying. Can, is there a way to deliver the message better so people don't become offended? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all right, granted, this is good. This is dope to get women to digest it better, and this is needed, man. Like, regardless of what the fuck is, what, what the fuck I think, what the fuck who else thinks. Like, if you're delivering a message and the message is getting misinterpreted because people are keen on shit to trigger them, then there's no point in delivering a fucking message. All you're gonna do is piss them off. So. But but then it's like it's, it's like there's too much nuance. There's too many fucking listeners. Everybody hears whatever the fuck they hear. Like someone can say one thing to a hundred people, and those a hundred people are gonna hear a hundred different fucking things. So like at the end of the day, we're gonna have to have these conversations to to make sure everybody receives the information the way they need to receive it so everybody's on the fucking same page but you know that's just not doable you know what i mean that's just not gonna fucking happen but, um so i don't i don't know i don't know and then i mean and just on top of that where we are society wise like it's just 
It is what it is, man. Like, people just need to, at the end of the day, people need to stop being so goddamn sensitive and stop being so fucking triggered and actually listen to motherfuckers. Give motherfuckers, yeah, just listen. Actively listen and not, don't listen to respond. Don't listen to respond. Just listen. Take it in. You know what I mean? His finger on, perhaps not so uh, precisely, is uh, it is true that men tend to be attracted to women from a younger demographic, like yeah. around that 23-ish age is when they're most attractive. Yeah. But then women tend to be attracted to slightly older men. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can ask, you know, why is that? It might be because of what Doesn't we see matter. out in yeah, the opposite yeah. sex. And it's like a biological thing, obviously. But I think what we should be working out, like that's like been going on for what sixty thousand years. I think now we're at sixty thousand years later. We should be like starting to unpack that, starting to like working on seeing each other not as purely. Like I know it's embedded in us to see each other as sexual partners. Obviously, you want young women because we're more fertile, like biologically. But I think we've advanced so much in our like minds that we should be focusing more on each other's minds and you know reproducing, essentially. And also I'm saying maybe. Because you want to change reality. <laughs> want to change reality. Don't fuck that. Don't work that way. And then like say they know it. They know all the facts. They know it. You hear that? They know it. They know that men like younger women and younger women like older men. But it's only bad when Andrew Tate says it because, and, and it's the cool thing to do to fucking attack Andrew Tate, right? Your whole world's doing it. We're going to take this motherfucker down. And he's just, Andrew Tate represents anti-feminism. anti feminism anti Feminist movement, and you know the feminist movement is where we sit in society. Like the one, the world is ran by women, and you know Andrew Tate out here flipping that shit upside down. Maybe oh, like his minds, and you know reproducing, essentially. Yeah. And right. also saying maybe oh, like generally men are attracted to younger women, not oh, no, young women. Okay, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, and that's so, a recurring theme is that people. Who take like issue with what he said? It's it's not always just what he said. It's more so how he yeah. said. It. But I think also so you know in terms of a marketing strategy, he's done quite well for himself yeah. to yeah. get I into the collective is. consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. But I think now again, he's also realizing he has a lot of risk. Call clickbait. <laughs> Call clickbait. Well, you fucking listen to me, bro. If you listen to me, if you listen to what I'm fucking saying. I can put you on game. If all these women out here have all these issues with Andrew Tate, actually listen to what the fuck he's saying, took it in, they'd be better off. They'll find a fucking man. Make it easier for them to find a fucking man, but instead they want to attack him because they have to look at reality, man, and they get triggered. I mean, but responsibility now that he's in the collective consciousness mm. to be more, more precise with what he's saying. Yeah. What, uh, what is like the positive side of Andrew Tate? Whether you've seen it in your yeah. brothers or whether you've seen uh, particular clips, or like, what do you like about Andrew Tate? Is there anything you're attracted to in Andrew Tate? What I like about Andrew Tate. Yeah, what do you what do you like about him or what, what are the good things you can see in him? Or also yeah. what do you like are any of you somewhat attracted to Andrew Tate? No, no I'm attracted to like completely opposite. <laughs> Soft <laughs> thing in the boys. Um no, I like that he did donate to domestic violence and men's mental health. I liked how he he does Alright. Alright, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But like I was, I was expecting him to be like so brainwashed and so irate and pissed at Andrew Tate. But it, it's like it's it's even more mind blowing because they are actually aware of what the fuck is going on. They are aware that they're getting misled and 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 are receiving misinformation, highlighting Andrew Tate in such a way. But they, but they're still choosing to get pissed at it, knowing that this is only a a piece of the puzzle. I mean, they're all aware of the stats. They're all aware of the background about money, business, male empowerment type of shit. But in spite of all that, they still hate them. And they're aware that shit is getting taken out of context. So that's like a reflection on them. Like they're sheep and they're admitting, yeah, I'm a sheep. I know I'm a sheep and I'm, I'm still going to be pissed even, even though I know big tech is feeding me all this grain to eat because they know I'm a sheep. It's fucking crazy, bro. Crazy.